What's going on guys, it's your boy Dead back with another Wings Still Combat of Views. Here we're talking about LR, Tapio, and Minosha, how they perform their meta, how they look in today's meta, the good, the bad, the ugly. Let's get straight to talking about this unit. So LR, Tapion and Minosha are a unit that came out a literal seven days after AGL Tapion got his EZA on JP. We're going to go ahead and talk about JP just because they did come out first on JP. Obviously, I typically like to talk about JP first because I've already stated it. That's typically when units do come out, unless when a unit is global first, then I'll go ahead and state that, but the point still stands. This unit did come out on JP first, seven days after AGL Tapion does come out for that version. So, how does Tapion Minosha work in the God Event meta? I think this unit works well inside the God Event meta because they are supporting AGL Tapion. AGL Tapion is sitting in slot 1 with 120% defense and 50% damage reduction. So if they're going ahead and supporting AGL Tapion through their passive and their links, then this duo can definitely work considerably well. My only issue with this duo inside the God Event is not their rotation. It's literally their team leaders it's like movie heroes only had agl blue gogeta join forces literally had like what kale and khalifa and blue boys so that was not really going to be a a factor story figures had them so it's like three key one fifty percent across the board in the god event which is not happening in no way shape or form and siblings bond had go bros so go bros could really they can work inside the god event it was just a little shoddy with them because uh, you wanted go bros to be type advantage but if you had Go Bros type advantage, then this unit will be type disadvantage, and it will just be a little wonky. Now let's go over to the God event real quick so I can go ahead and showcase what stages I think this unit could have worked well in, in conjunction to AGL Tapion, of course. Let's go over to the God event, which, no, that's that's collection of epic battles, excuse me. The God event is right over here. So I think this unit can work well in stage one of the God event because AGL Tapion can go ahead and go to work while being supported by STR Tapion because uh, this unit will go ahead and be type neutral against this guy for the stage one and he'll go ahead and be a type advantage go ahead and take it off like clips of his health bar he'll go ahead and you'll go ahead and whittle down the first stage of the god event's health bar and this rotation will work out just fine for that first stage hellas i think this uh, this duo can definitely work all right in i think obviously for the third stage of the god event this unit can work well in because obviously they're type advantage and this unit will go uh, type neutral against this this level three stage of the boss Another boss's unit could work well on is in Sidra, of course, because these guys are type advantage against Sidra, and this unit will be type, um, not disadvantage, excuse me, type neutral against Sidra, Sidra so it'll be fine, really. <laughs> so, if this unit can work well in four out of the 12 stages of the God event, along with Age of Tapion, then I think that is fine, but the only issue is, is the fact that they only really had Gobros as their solidified leader, because Story Figures was them, and you're not running this leader skill. You're not running AGL Blue Gogeta and Joy Forces. You're not running Blue Boys or Kaelin Khalifa because those leader skill percentages are way too low. But even then with Gobros, Gobros was just a little shoddy because Gobros can get touched inside the God event unless you were going up against a boss that you were type advantage over. So, how does this unit perform in today's meta? Now, this unit has gotten only one new category team. That being Legendary Existence, and even then, you would not run this unit on Legendary Existence. Story Figures has gotten a 200% leader skill, so it, it doesn't really make sense to run these guys on Story Figures either. Excuse me. Uh, for Siblings Bond, Siblings Bond still has not gotten a new leader skill, so for Siblings Bond, I mean, no. Because Siblings Bond in 2022 is just not really the wave, because obviously I just said they don't have a new leader skill. Uh, Movie Heroes has literally became, like, what? The best team in the game right now because we're getting orange piccolo and beast gohan in like literally two days like one or two days so i mean it makes zero sense to run them on movie heroes in any way shape or form because movie heroes is a top tier team and this unit is complete dog water that is really all there is to be said about this unit when running them in today's meta because it just like think about it let's take a look at movie heroes real fast why would you ever run this rotation unless you do not have a stacked movie heroes team of course why would you ever run around this rotation when literally also by the way joint forces has a 200 leader skill with the meta cooler goku and vegeta i just want to get that out the way real fast you're not running this unit on joint forces either so i'm just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and pity pat that out the way too so the example i want to say is that their best team is literally movie heroes right with agl tapion because obviously it has the most 200 leader skills even though these two are on they're not on any of those 200 leader skills for yeah they're not on any of those 200 leader skills right yeah, they're not. Neither of these two guys are on, are on any of those 200% leader skills for movie heroes. So why would you ever 
in God's given reason, want to run this rotation on movie heroes. Guys, let's stop right here. <laughs> right? We already saw the leaders. Like, if we, if we go all the way up here, we got Gamma 1 and 2. We have the LR Gods. We have the, um, the Metal Cooler movie, Goku and Vegeta. We have, what else? We have Bird Coup. We have... Uh, we do have Tech Gogeta still for those who still run it. We have the 30th anniversary Gogeta. Wait, we're not done yet. We have Aider. We have Jacko. We have what else? What else do we have here? I know there's more. We have Tech God Goku. We have the RF Blues. We have the STR Movie Hero Piccolo. We have what's what's another good unit that we've run this category, category team? I know I overlooked one unit, but it's like you guys get it. Look at this team. This team is already good. It's like, oh, we also have the Path of Power Goku. Yeah. So, like, we take a... It's like movie heroes. It's crazy. It's a top-tier team. It just, like, come on. I, I shouldn't have had to, like, give an example to you guys to why you shouldn't run this unit on movie heroes today. It's like, for the category teams, 200 Salidisco meta slash Cell Max and the Red Zone meta. No. It's like, this rotation may have looked great in 2021, but in 2022, this is just not a feasible rotation for the new meta content. Exclusively because AGL Tapion literally only has this defensively. 120% defense and 50% damage reduction will not carry you that far at all. Considering the fact that the, this guy right here doesn't even gain defense on super. Let me go on over to the Tapion Minosha. They don't gain defense on super too. They really have to fall back on the fact on. They only gain damage reduction in their passive. The fact they only gain damage reduction or passive is something they have to go ahead and make that up for for them not having defense in their super attack, which is definitely really annoying. Super annoying that they don't gain defense on super. So for the 200% leader skill meta slash the cell max, red zone meta, which you, whatever you want to call it, it's just like, no, this rotation worked last year, but it's not going to go ahead and work this year. So what is it good about Tapion and Minosha? What I think is good about Tapion and Osha is the first thing. I want to go ahead and get this out the way. I really love their active skill. This removes all allies' negative effects. So it's essentially a Sensu without the heal. And they have a two-turn support type buff for all allies. Three key and 20% attack and defense for two turns. All allies is definitely so powerful. This is like, it feels like the Tech Yajirobe before Tech Yajirobe, if you guys get what I mean, with the, the multiple turns of supporting with their active skill. It's like somewhere around the same uh, thing, you know? So I really like their active skill. They are support type units, which is definitely really nice. They do have a chance to perform additional super attack, which always works out well. And they do lower attack in their 12 key, which is definitely pretty good. And But that's really only, that's the only things I really find good about this unit, is the fact that their 12 key is solid with lowering attack. They're a support type unit that does also have a 30% chance to launch additional super attack when they do do an 18 key super attack and their active skill is super powerful now there is a couple of issues with this unit yes one they have no key links like literally none let's go ahead on over to them right like look at this so brainiacs 10 percent attack and defense this is all link level one by the way brainiacs 10 percent attack and defense hero 20 percent defense experienced fighters 10 percent attack like 10 percent attack and um, all enemies minus 15 percent defense right here it's like look at this guys there's no key links and if you think they have key links at link level 10 it's like there's none there's nothing here <laughs> like this unit can struggle this unit can definitely struggle for key for sure the only thing that is saving them key wise if you want to say that is their support type passive they're essentially gaining four key and 40 percent attack and defense but like still guess what <laughs> if they do not have a support type unit on rotation with them this unit will struggle for key they need a support type unit with them they really really do other than the agl tapion who's sharing links with them now it's really cool that him and agl tapion are sharing 65 percent attack and 40 percent defense that's nice but there's no key here and this unit needs key, so you can go ahead and double super. You got the chance to double super and gain that 26% damage reduction because you gain 13% damage reduction for that first 18 key super attack that you get off. And you'll gain another 13% damage reduction if you get that that specific part of its passive off, yes? So that's, what, that's 26% damage reduction? So, 
I think that's the issue with this unit is the fact that they don't have any key links. Another thing I do not like about this unit is this part of his passive. Like when units lose damage reduction inside of their passive, that is super annoying. That is the issue with Golden Frieza in 17 entirely. That build up damage reduction within the same turn just to lose it for the next turn is super annoying. I feel like that is one big issue with this unit and also the fact that this unit does not gain defense in their 12 or 18 key super attack it's like why are you a damage reduction unit that does not gain defense on super attack it's like if you are a damage reduction unit you need you really badly need to gain defense on super attack that's the reason why i do not like agl tape on super attack effects excuse me because like he does lower attack which is cool and they also lower attack also but like if you're a damage reduction you need defense so the underlying issue with this unit is the fact that they don't have no key links, they lose their damage reduction within the same turn, they don't gain defense on super, and they're a dead unit on literally all their category teams. Because this rotation doesn't work anymore. So, within the meta content, this is not working, and outside meta content, it really still doesn't make any sense to run these two as a rotation anyways, because for movie heroes, it's stacked. So, what's the point of running these guys? So, I mean, I think that's really about it. It's like the only issue with this unit I do not like is the fact that they do not gain defense on super and they do lose their damage reduction within the same turn after super. It's like they must double super. It's like if you ever want to run these guys in difficult content, you better pray to God that these units double super for that 26% damage reduction. And if they do triple super attack for whatever reason and go ahead and get you, what, that's 39% damage reduction? That's cool. But that's super rare, provided you do have dupes in them, and they do get that third super attack off from their potential system. Now, I think that's really about it. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys the best. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.